Shalom guys, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for a general reading. If you are returning, welcome back. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, happy anniversary and all of that. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My channel is very intense. We look at criminal activity most of the time. So uh, just buckle up because you could and will at times hear information that could be disturbing. We look at all kinds of things. We just look at the great one that's running the whole universe, the, whole, the great ancient of days, Yehovah Elohim, who's found in the tarot. The scriptures um, absolutely honored here. We let Yehovah just say what he wants to, so you will get prophetic things that come out uh, that have been written in the scripture and um, things that uh, are going on in our now day that uh, people need to be aware of. Uh, we just uproot energy that is if it comes out in a negative sense then and you're found in it you just you've got to, to look in the mirror if you're willing to fix it otherwise i guess you you meet your fate um it is what it is i'm real bold on my channel and so if you don't like boldness then you'll probably go ahead and exit now i'm not prejudiced if you are you probably want to go ahead and exit now you're not going to like me i'm about the truth the whole truth nothing but the truth and the raw truth okay and it's because we're living in an hour this is time to quit messing around playing around with stupidness and get some things fixed man because it's critical it's just a critical hour that we live in i'm not church or religious but i do keep all 10 of the commandments because i do have a hebraic descent and so anyway this is just who i am take it or leave it man um it's your prerogative. You have free will just like I do. I just know who my beautiful Elohim is. And he's mighty in the universe. And uh, I love to boast about him. And so, anyway. It is what it is. This is who I am. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you do stay, glad to have you. Let's see what's going on out here. Jehovah just said and is showing me um, a scripture in Proverbs um, that speaks about whoso rewards evil for good. It states that evil shall not depart from his house. If you have somebody around you and you know that person is evil and you've given, you're saying somebody's good, you, there's going to be some type of a curse come up on your house. Ain't going to leave me. Uh, we had today that everybody knows somebody's a liar come out in one of my first readings. I did not upload it, but I spoke about it in the reading that did get uploaded today. The devil came out. And so, you know, some people know somebody's a freaking liar and they reward a liar. Well, you're cursed, man. You're just cursed. We are to hate evil. And Jehovah says that that is part of having wisdom is hating evil. That's why I'm so fierce at it. I can't stand it. It's stupid. It's pridefulness. It's nasty. But I guess if you want a curse to come upon your house, why ever reason why Jehovah is showing me that um, scripture? Uh, somebody's got somebody, I guess, around them. You know they're evil, and you're going to give them some type of a good reward. Will you fix and open your household up to some wickedness? But I guess that's your prerogative. If you like wicked, then you go right on ahead and be wicked in the earth, and you will be extracted out of it uh, eventually, because Jehovah says that the righteous remain in the earth, and the wicked get shaken out of it. He shakes them out every single day, little by little, and he's he's uh, he's uh, getting rid of the beast, man. People are prideful and everything else, trying to get what they want um, by, by stupidness. We have uh, something inspirational. The torches out here. Some people are dealing with sexual matters as well. Um, this is ch children. So if you are pregnant, and you know. Then beautiful, you know, children are a gift uh, from Jehovah. Uh, hopefully it's safe for you to love. But there's a pregnancy here for some people, I guess so. That's the truth about something. This is seeing eye to eye, getting on page and having unity. If this is upright, this is beautiful energy Then that's coming out here. All right. We have a celebration here. That's five wands. If I want to look at it that way, some people are dealing with, you know, competition and stupidness out of the home and things like that. Otherwise, you know, if you come together and you're pregnant and you're celebrating, then then great. That's beautiful. Show me this ace, please. Uh, somebody's greedy for gain here, trying to hang on to something. Okay. Mine, 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 me, 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 me. No, it ain't. Uh, there's a deception here for some of you all around the sexual thing then. Uh, if you're holding back from coming together with somebody because you know there's some type of strife here, then that's great. And I read it that way, I guess. Uh, some type of um, being generous or something like that. Is there. What is this Four of Pentacles showing itself here for? Let me move this up. I, I watched a video that I did yesterday and the cards, I had cards way down here. And you couldn't see all of them and so I apologize. <clears throat> 
show me this four of pentacles it's the material world um so somebody being loyal here okay we got a lot of pentacles around this person um there could be work here some type of collaborating thing could be here with all these pentacles and they've been waiting and waiting and waiting on something that's been going for a long time we got law here coming up we got somebody's grieving crying over spilt milk something that's taken place third parties then were here around the sexual ordeal then okay um i always bring out those of you who are new i always bring out the torch in the runes when it comes out in the tarot and it also is related to justice energy and it represents there will be justice that will be assured for somebody especially if somebody got you know taken advantage of stolen from there's been greediness here somebody been trying to throw somebody out and some stupidness and somebody's been illuminated with the truth um, because there's been peril and strife and everything else if, if justice has to come out here um, is somebody going to turn around and tell the truth about something and they've really just been you know going for a long time in this stupid crying stupid nasty mode uh, and take those two cups and that's beautiful you'll even up scales there's anointing here to break off a yoke uh, if you are facing jail for something I guess you're facing jail but what are you going to do hmm? you're going to be a fool you gonna stay in this foolish mode and go look at me I'm just my god I'm genius I'll just do it this way again I mean somebody don't want to let go of something I'm hanging on to everything because there's greed here there's greed here well then the fool says in his heart there ain't no god I'm god I'm genius in my own eyes and that fool's gonna get knocked down is the freak show me the two of cups it's a known freak um yeah well, somebody's in their head about a connection, about a decision that was already made because there's three cups down here and um, it is what it is today, I guess. Again, we got law stuff then. This is the incarceration card. Somebody depressed over some type of a connection that they got in and they've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Also for a connection, if somebody's been holding back because of some legal matter that's been around it, they've been crying um, because of a third party just outside. It could be your soulmates that got in. We had siblings come out today in one of my other readings. Your siblings don't like your connection or got involved in some ordeal cause you'd have to have... To, uh, walls up and hold on to something because something that they've done and now there's legal matters around it whatever that is what's the eight of, of uh, swords here for you hold up what is this here for if, if people are in unity to put some freak in jail that's done some stupid okay then that's great I'll read that energy that way something's inspirational okay to hang on to something in an upright fashion to get in unity to put some stupid nasty purses done some grossness to somebody in jail then then great then somebody going to be bent to go to jail then what's the eight of uh swords here for <clears throat> being at a crossroad decisions what do i do how do i escape um I'm plotting something or two people are because somebody's crazy in the freaking mind what road are you going to take are you, are you going to go down the road that leads to life or are you going to go down the road that leads to death? Really is your choice. There are third parties here. They're, they're soulmates. They're, your, your siblings are here. Your family's involved in your life, man. Think that they're going to run it because they've done something illegal back here. For those of you dealing with that kind of stuff. Show me that something happened around some type of um, <clears throat> celebration. Then I guess it is. Or there is going to be a celebration because Jehovah's going to make sure he wins something. You are going to be celebrating something in an upright fashion because you're keeping covenant with your whole but he's gonna bend the wicked man he ain't gonna he ain't gonna you know again you're fixing to have a big fat curse come to your house whoever that scripture is for i'm fixing the reward somebody's fixing sitting here saying i'm i'm at a crossroad because i'm trying to make a decision because i'm fixing to re reward an evil person to sit here in greed which greed is at the root of all evil and i'm fixing to open up to do something wicked to somebody and I'm fixing to open up for my home to have a curse come up on it and it is never going to go away. What are you going to do today? You've been warned. There is no excuse for you to hear that word. There is some type of communication. There is. Uh, there's a trading energy here. Well, there's a lot of passion here. What are you going to do? Well, there's a lot of passion. We got strife here. It was it. It started off the reading. What are you striving about? You're striving with your maker. You don't want the truth. You really don't want the truth. You don't want the truth. You want the lie because you got the root of all evil here. 
or you love your family more than you love the great one. And so you just all go in that one side then. Okay. We are told to love Jehovah more than even our family. Okay. If you, if you leave houses and homes and all that kind of stuff for his sake, he'll give it all back to you even in this life. But no, I want, I want, I'm going to pull my britches down real quick because I got to do something because I did something illegal back here and um, can't do it, man, because I'm a beast and I'm prideful in my own eyes. I don't have no eyes. Can't even see here. Can't see here. Can't see here. You can't. Somebody can't. In this reading. Uh, somebody's been a long, there's been a, it's been a long time somebody's held on to something, okay? Whether positive or negative, and they still feel the same way, okay? Really up to you, I and mean, we got fighting out here. We got some type of fighting going on out here. Whatever's happened in your family, you hanging on to a grudge, you still feel the same way, then I guess it is. If you're hanging on to a, a nice emotion and you've just been crying because, again, you've got soulmates out here and a third party involved in some stupidness um, around some ordeal, <laughs> and you still feel upright, but there's something that's restraining you, you need to go, you know, to the great one and ask him to help you open up to do something upright here. I'm not sure. Somebody does thank God for somebody out here, but I guess somebody don't like it. Okay. Um, we do have family issues going on. For some of you, some of y'all do have family that loves the person that you love. Somebody's in their brain about something out here, though. Because there's fighting here. Something very passionate out here. Somebody's at a crossroad. Because there's something legal out here, man. How about you just pick Whatever you want to say, Abba. Taking several. Because there's a lot of people involved in some stuff. Um, all unrighteousness shall come to an end. Thank you, Jehovah. Yes, it shall. Because Jehovah's um, bending the wicked and shaking them out of the earth. And again, you make your decisions in the wicked side of things. If you go down uh, the road of death, uh, then it, that leads to an ending. Okay, so you want to be unrighteous and you want to go ahead and sit here and open up to wickedness. Well, that's going to come to an end. All unrighteousness is going to come to an end. Yea, it shall be cut off from its roots and its whole structure shall be destroyed. Yes. Thank you, Jehovah, for taking this crap out. And you are going to be able to love who you want. These freaks have been trying to get in your way and do something. Even your family members has done something illegal. Uh, and you think, well, I love them more. Or I love this person too. And whatever. It, you know, if you're trying to protect somebody who's done something illegal, you really don't love the great one. And you're on that side of being unrighteous. Okay? And you are rewarding evil for good. And there's not going to be anything good come to your home or stick to your home. It will stay there forever until you're shaken out by the roots, cut up okay and then destroyed from it okay um something is a hoax well we already know what the hoax is about Jehovah uh, says to let go now. Well, we have somebody just holding on holding on holding on holding on holding on holding on and if you don't let and you've been warned you've been warned it's time to let go right now um my soul followeth hard after the and thy right hand upholds me, but those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go down into the lower parts of the earth. Again, we already know we got the devil. We see it today. And we got somebody causing strife all the time, every single day. There is a court trial here where we have a court right there. We do. And something about a white male is here involved in something specifically. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converts with righteousness and the destruction of the wicked transgressors and of the sinners shall be together and they that forsake Jehovah shall be consumed. Yes, you're going to forsake the truth. You're going to come up on this uh, side of, uh, you know, rewarding an evil person with something good. There will be a court trial for you. The books are open. Jehovah is going to consume with some great big teeth and get some people out and clip pluck them up at the root, okay? Greed is here. Yes, it's right here. Somebody is greedy. And Jehovah says, let go now. That thing ain't yours. 
you're holding on to people's um, inheritances, you've stolen something, whatever the crap you've done. Yes, there is a judgment here. There's a judge here. And there's the, there's court trial and there's justice that let you hold the Elohim speak on mighty great king. Okay? Some type of a favor energy is going to be here. Yes, it is going to be for the upright because all unrighteousness is going to be cut out of the earth right at its root we have a machine operator involved in some ordeal and um, somebody's been in anger and despair and uh, there's just been some circumstances that have been testing somebody's patience and stuff like that well you know I don't know what to tell you there's obviously fighting going on out here and temptation well that takes you back to the devil and he's going to be cut out of the earth um, thank you Yolda show me three cards further for this reading. If you're in the upright and you love somebody, you need to open up and you need to tell them today. You need to tell the freak that's done some nasty stupidness and people do know that somebody is a liar. Everybody knows that somebody's got something that they're holding on to some greed and they're not going to open up and do what Jehovah tells them to. You need to pry the person's arms open and say, no, we are coming against you and this fight is now a righteous war. We all coming against you and you're going to give it up because it's not yours. Your family, if your family really loves somebody and loves the person that you love, you will get up in there and you will fight and do something for all uprightness. Or you're fixing to be cursed, man. You're fixing to be freaking cursed. I don't care who you are. Or are you a judge? Give me a bribe. Yeah, over the top. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a favor. I'll wrap it up just like the book of Micah says and you're fixing to get destroyed. You will be consumed because that ain't the way of Jehovah. Uh, we have the locket. We have gifts and stuff like that out here in love and romance. Well, somebody is in love with somebody. They are. Somebody's an inspiration to somebody out here as well. Um, Long-term uh, commitments, occupation, and stuff like that. There's been a burden here uh, around some ordeal. This is also training and stability and stuff like that. Somebody also feels weighed down, and somebody was weighed down as well. Somebody can go to jail for that court trial. We already know about, it, about the water situation. One more, please, Jehovah. The sun. That's positive. Uh, or the, or that's pride and ego because that can have a meaning in this deck. But this is something that is governmental going on as well. And the government of Jehovah is being set up. This is a forcible overthrow. But you are dealing with somebody also in the spotlight. They're known. Fame and glory. Hey, look at me. Everybody thinks somebody a, is a bag of chips or somebody thinks that they are is what came out in wording today. This is a forcible overthrow. And there will be a bright future because somebody's heart is either full of pus and nastiness or this is a uh, garbage. Guarded, like Jehovah states that I am a sun and a shield and you are shielded and you're getting over the top favor by Jehovah. It depends on who you are. What are you doing? Are you giving a judgment to the wicked or are you going to shield your heart and be bright and bring righteousness and uh, see something beautiful happen? Somebody's home is here. Somebody's a resident. Well, we got your soulmates today that are involved in some stuff. They either love you or they hate you. Uh, if they hate you, they're getting they're getting taken out. Jehovah's going to give you a brand new home. Uh, all right, there are no words for this. There ain't no words for this. And it's time to rest and be at ease. Yes, and let's just see Jehovah take his little axe in there and just mm, right at the root on the wicked. It's craziness at this point, people. It's just crazy. You want, why would anybody choose to be cursed? Why would you? <laughs> you just, just show everybody that what a freak you are. We have the Jira that's here. We have the J. We have the A, the K. We have Jack here as well. Um, whatever, if, you know, whatever Jack kind of connection is here. I oh, was at a jacking up of the wheel as well. I spoke about that today. Anyway, this is a, a marriage arranged for a mutual agreement. Somebody's family does love somebody. Somebody does thank God for somebody. Uh, it's been a long time. Somebody still feels the same, positive or negative, whatever side of this you play. Uh, but there is some type of uh, recovery when this rune comes out. There's a completion of a cycle. There's healing here. But it's your choice, people. It's your choice. All right? Um, this will come out. Shalom.